So this is a video I've been really wanting to make, but letting it slide for a while. And I feel like it's kind of the point where I've kind of been a little fed up right now. So, welcome to the Ubisoft rant. Now, by no means am I saying don't support Ubisoft games, because they have shown in the past that they can actually pull through. I'm just kind of generally frustrated right now with what the hell's going on with the games that were being presented and things along those lines. So, most recently, the Ghost Recon Wildlands beta, open beta, has been released to the public, and it's been down for like three hours as I've been recording this video. Now, some people who were playing it before the servers were having issues could still play it. Those who were locked out, well, you're kind of stuck out. And I don't understand this issue. Now, of course, there can be server hiccups and maintenances, but it seems to be this notorious fact with Ubisoft at this point that they can't produce a multiplayer scene for the life of themselves. Rainbow Six Siege, Ghost Recon Wildlands, we can even point back to Assassin's Creed Unity when the, that thing was a disaster on launch. It it was it it's like they it's like the button for connecting to someone for co-op in Unity was there, but it just kind of laughed at you. I don't even know. So, excuse me if I get a little rambly, but I really need to get a couple things off my chest, and I would like to hear all this from you guys back. So I'm gonna try and keep this as on rails as possible, but excuse me if I derail halfway through. So I guess let's first start out with the most recent culprit, um. Ghost Recon Wildlands. So the open beta right now, and as I'm talking about the open beta, you guys also have to remember is that betas nowadays are very different from how they used to be back in the day. You gotta look at the release time of the beta. If the beta is very close to launch, like this one is now, I think Recon comes out on March 7th, there's gonna be very few days, especially at Ubisoft, to actually fix something like this where there's server issues. Now, there isn't too many other issues that I've had with the game. There are some, like, audio weird things, and the mechanics of vehicles could be a little bit better and more redefined stealth, just a little polish on there, but other than that, I haven't had too much of an issue with the game. I've actually really enjoying it and looking forward to playing it. But when it gets to the point where you can't make a simple four-person co-op experience, it gets it gets a little annoying. You're not hosting a PvP environment. You're not hosting a player versus player killing arena where there needs to be proper bullet registration. And apparently, people are even suffering from issues like that. You need to just it just let us connect to each other and have fun. Why are we still trying to struggle to create pretty much a staple in every single game now in like the 21st century of multiplayer that you guys are still seem to be lacking on? Ubisoft, you guys have probably the greatest development team for ideas and actually creating content that is really cool and has amazing idea. Once again, the Assassin's Creed series, Splinter Cell, Siege, this game, Ghost Recon Wildlands, even the Ghost Recon series as a whole, Future Soldier was amazing. All the previous games were really fantastic. But yet, for some reason, you improve on these factors, but you're always missing that key element that you want to throw into your game. Multiplayer. Let's move on to your first-person shooter. Rainbow Six Siege is in its year two stage. Why is bad hit registration still a thing? You've managed to make it go to where the game's hit registration was bearable to terrible to, okay, you're getting back on track. It's not perfect. It's not as bad as it was during Operation Skull Rain, though. But I don't know what the hell you guys are doing over there, but please, you have a community of people that actually really enjoy the premise of your game. It's almost like a mildly abusive relationship here, where you are just kind of taking us for granted. Yeah, sure, we'll keep releasing these football helmet skins for Castle and Bandit, because that's what people want. Yes, because people want the football helmets for Bandit and Castle for actual money, when instead we would rather have a game where, you know, hit registration worked, or there wasn't lag comp to the point where someone's peeking on their screen, but on my screen I'm just being shot at by a fern down the hall. You know, there's clearly an issue here what you're not grasping, and you need to fix your core issues. Like, every time I see, like, I go on Twitter, and you'll just see Ubisoft servers are down. PS4 maintenance. I don't even play on PS4, and I feel bad for the people on PS4. Fuck Console Wars. You PS4 guys don't deserve the dicking that you guys get. Like, Siege. Ubisoft, as a whole. What, like, why do you continuously abuse your uh, community that so heartily want to support you guys, and actually, once again, you guys have a fantastic game in Siege, you're literally missing the whole point of it, multiplayer. If you guys could get that down, I guarantee you, you would have a competition, or a scene that would be so thriving, you wouldn't know what to do with the money to be filling up your greedy pockets. 
So, let's go back to some old culprits. Once again, let's go back to Assassin's Creed Unity, a game that started off with a beautiful single-player story. Now, I'll be honest with you, I kind of fell out of the Assassin's Creed loop around after Assassin's Creed 3. I, I've enjoyed Assassin's Creed 3. Assassin's Creed 4 really lost me after that point. I still enjoyed the... I played through it, don't get me wrong, but I was like, this didn't feel like an Assassin's Creed game. And once again, I played Unity and I played Syndicate. I still played them all, but I definitely lost that feeling I had when playing, like, from 1 to 3. Those were, like, the real prime that I enjoyed. I even enjoyed Revelations and Brotherhood and all those little spin-offs from 2 and whatnot. But, but besides the point, you guys tried to implement multiplayer in Unity. You understand that you tanked that so hard that your game would crash. The game would not be rendering properly. You had so many issues. If you guys go back, when my channel first opened, I actually did a playthrough of Assassin's Creed Unity. I couldn't complete it because my game broke. You know... Even in games like Watch Dogs, when that Watch Dogs 1 first released, it barely had proper work. It was barely working. Stop producing a mass amount of games. Games aren't meant to be done in mass production. You need to take your time. You need to develop them so you can put an $80 price tag on them or how much you ever want to charge these goddamn days. And be like, listen, this is a decent game. We want to play it. We want to get our money's worth out of it. I get it. There's people that are just... They just buy the games, and they're just hyped about it, because Ubisoft, you guys know you produce phenomenal games, but you're lacking in the key component of a competitive, stable, multiplayer basis where people can join. Literally, if you guys decided to shut down for a week and completely, like, fix your t entire infrastructure of networking, I guarantee you, your player base would be so happy that... We would buy your stupid football helmets for Rainbow Six Siege. We would buy, like, every gold edition for a game if your servers were as good as they should be. If you guys want to move in an era of multiplayer, you guys need to support that era of multiplayer. You guys need to be ready to make sure that you guys are on day one, stable and ready. I'm going to take Battlefield 1. I don't play that game at, at all, pretty much. I don't enjoy it. I got bored of it. But regardless or not, they actually had a stable launch for once in Battlefield's history. The servers weren't cancerous. Now, I'm sure there's still issues with the game, but regardless or not, they actually had a stable launch. I know people don't say, oh, don't compare other people, you know, don't compare companies to companies. But when companies are actually doing something right, you clearly need to look at what they're doing right so you can get an idea of how to fix your shit. We get it, you guys produce like thousands of games every year, you guys like Dance, Dance coming out or whatever, was it Just Dance? You guys got like the Trials games and Far Cry and Siege and like Ghost Recon and all these games to take a company with. And, and it just like never, I can just never understand on why you guys can't build a multiplayer premise where it's actually stable and ready to go. Maybe you guys should cut down on a couple games, you guys have hundreds of studios why don't you guys work together and actually try and develop a game where the network is working so your community can stop bitching at you because we actually care and really enjoy what you guys produce and it gets really annoying at the points where we're just sitting there going, hey, can we connect over then you're, you know, I don't know. I'm just mostly frustrated. I'm sorry if I went on a little bit of ramble. But the main issue is Ubisoft, you guys have a beautiful layout of games and you just need to get your network shit together and you will have a community that will thrive for years on end we loved you guys when you produce single player we get it you want to expand into multiplayer but you need to have that multiplayer premise you're losing people because you're failing to give us what you're promising Regardless, guys, thank you once again for creating the wonderful games Ubisoft. Like I said, you guys have great games. Just fix your damn servers, goddammit. But seriously, guys, tell me what you guys thought about my rant. I'm sorry if I went on a little bit of ramble. I'd like to hear your opinions down below. Without further ado, I'm the Dangerous Miss, and I'll see you, sexy beast, in the next episode. Peace.